Welcome to the second episode in our series, where we dive deep into what it takes to transform organizations for a future defined by complexity, innovation, and adaptability. If episode 1 introduced the paradigm shift needed to thrive in a quantum world, this episode focuses on a powerful framework that unlocks an organization's true potential, the nine dimensions of organizational consciousness. Imagine this. A company meets every metric for success, rising profits, efficient processes, and satisfied customers. Yet, its leader feels something is missing. This was the case for Maria Hernandez, CEO of a global technology company. Standing before her executive team, she confessed, we're doing everything right, but it feels like we're playing yesterday's game. There's a disconnect, a gap between where we are and where we need to be. This moment of clarity set Maria on a journey to discover the deeper forces shaping her organization's success. It led her to the concept of organizational consciousness, the ability of a business to sense, respond, adapt, and evolve in an ever-changing world. What is organizational consciousness? At its core, organizational consciousness is about more than operational excellence. It's a framework that elevates performance across key areas. 1. Sensing and responding to change with agility. 2. Generating and processing intelligence from both human and artificial systems. 3. Creating and delivering value that aligns with purpose. 4. Learning and evolving continuously in a dynamic landscape. And the results speak for themselves. Research from leading institutions like MIT and Harvard shows that organizations with higher consciousness achieve 1. 3.2x higher innovation rates. 2. 2.8x better employee engagement. 3. 4.1x faster market adaptation. 4. 3.7x stronger financial performance. These metrics reveal a powerful truth. Developing organizational consciousness is no longer optional, it's the difference between thriving and being left behind. The Nine Dimensions a roadmap to higher consciousness Maria's journey led her to explore the nine dimensions of organizational consciousness. Each dimension represents a key capability organizations must develop to navigate complexity, foster innovation, and drive sustainable growth. In this episode, we'll explore the first three dimensions in depth. Dimension 1. Temporal intelligence What if your organization could operate across time, drawing wisdom from the past, excelling in the present, and preparing for the future? This is the essence of temporal intelligence. Mark Jong, CEO of an automotive company, faced this challenge. His team excelled at analyzing past performance and optimizing current operations but struggled to anticipate future trends. We were like drivers looking only in the rearview mirror and at the dashboard, never through the windshield, he explained. Temporal intelligence involves balancing three perspectives. 1. The past. Learn from historical patterns, successes, and failures. 2. The present. Focus on operational excellence and immediate opportunities. 3. The future. Anticipate trends and prepare for emerging challenges. Actionable Framework. The Time Horizon Matrix to develop temporal intelligence, organizations can use the time horizon matrix. For every major decision, leaders should evaluate. 1. Past patterns. What can history teach us? 2. Present realities. What are today's constraints and opportunities? 3. Future possibilities. What trends and scenarios could shape tomorrow? For example, when Mark's company considered launching an electric vehicle line, the matrix highlighted past product successes, current customer demand, and future regulations favoring sustainability. This balanced approach transformed uncertainty into strategic foresight. Dimension 2. Networked intelligence in today's interconnected world, intelligence is no longer confined to individuals or departments. It emerges from the dynamic interplay of human expertise, AI systems, and organizational knowledge. This is networked intelligence. Sarah Chen, whose story we explored in episode 1, discovered this dimension while leading her organization through a digital transformation. Initially, they saw AI as a tool to automate tasks. 
But over time, they realized its true power. Creating a network where human and artificial intelligence work together to solve problems and drive innovation. Key Aspects of Networked Intelligence 1. Human AI Collaboration Combine human intuition with AI's data processing capabilities. 2. Collective Wisdom Harness diverse perspectives from teams and stakeholders. 3. Pattern recognition across systems Identify trends invisible in isolated silos. 4. Knowledge flow optimization. Ensure insights are shared seamlessly across the organization. Actionable framework. Intelligence network mapping organizations can create an intelligence network map by 1. Identifying intelligence nodes, human experts, AI tools, and knowledge repositories. 2. Mapping the flow of information between these nodes. 3. Addressing gaps and bottlenecks to enhance collaboration. By implementing this framework, Sarah's company broke down silos and created a dynamic ecosystem of intelligence. The result? Faster innovation cycles, better decision-making, and stronger team engagement. Dimension 3. Paradoxical awareness Modern organizations must navigate a world full of contradictions. Stability versus innovation, profit versus purpose, speed versus quality. The ability to embrace and manage these tensions is paradoxical awareness. Take the example of a global pharmaceutical company. It faced a classic paradox, balancing the rigorous stability required for drug development with the rapid innovation needed to compete in the market. Their breakthrough came not by resolving the paradox but by learning to operate within it. Key Principles of Paradoxical Awareness 1. Recognize the validity of opposing ideas. 2. Move beyond binary thinking to embrace nuanced, integrated solutions. 3. Leverage tensions as sources of creativity and innovation. Actionable Framework. The Paradox Resolution Model to address paradoxes, organizations can. 1. Map the poles. Clearly define the conflicting priorities. 2. Find the higher truth. Identify overarching goals that encompass both sides. 3. Integrate systems. Create processes that balance or blend the priorities. 4. Measure holistically. Develop metrics that track both aspects of the paradox. The pharmaceutical company used this approach to create separate units for stability and innovation, fostering collaboration between them. The result? Regulatory compliance paired with faster product development. What's next? These first three dimensions, temporal intelligence, networked intelligence, and paradoxical awareness, lay the foundation for elevating organizational consciousness. They empower organizations to navigate complexity, foster collaboration, and make informed, balanced decisions. But the journey doesn't stop here. In future episodes, we'll explore the remaining dimensions, including systemic perception, ethical intelligence, and more. Together, they create a roadmap for organizations to achieve sustained innovation, adaptability, and purpose-driven success. Call to action The nine dimensions of organizational consciousness are not just ideas, they're actionable tools for transformation. Reflect on how these first three dimensions apply to your organization. What lessons can you draw from the past? How can you enhance collaboration between human and artificial intelligence? Where are the paradoxes in your business, and how can you navigate them creatively? Join us in Episode 3 as we dive into the next dimensions and continue this journey toward building organizations that thrive in a world of perpetual change. The future belongs to those who embrace it with clarity, creativity, and consciousness.